Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. As you can see, the Brick Road Tower guy is one of our companions. He will follow you around. He'll, he'll take part in battles, too. So let's get involved in a fight. And let's see him in action. You do not have control of him during the fight, though. So don't get your hopes up with that. But he will attack and do quite a bit of damage. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Oh, got bye-bye to the Super Plush Bear. Wow, 409. Look at the damage. He is a tough son of a bitch. He'll also take no damage because the enemies will never attack him. Also solidified the enemy. That's pretty cool. Not a bad extra companion to have, considering Pooh has disappeared. Oh, they just keep attacking. Ugh. Okay, there are no enemies down here, so don't worry about that. Well, let's, uh, get out of here. What? Wait, hold on. He got stuck in the trees? He's not even touching the trees. What is this crap? Deep darkness, huh? Yeah, sure, I'm up for any stupid ideas. Okay, we need a submarine. Where are we gonna get a submarine? Should we head back to the town or something? Let's go talk to Brick Road. Oh, okay. We're gonna head back into Brick Road again. Alright, I'm gonna rest up before we head on out, though. Now it's time for another romp through Brick Road. Fortunately, this time, I know my way. <laughs> so it's not going to be a big, uh, long, slow trudge like it was last time. There we go. Oh yeah. We have to go all the way back up to where his face was. What is that doing over there up the wall? These monsters, these lesser mooks that we're fighting, they're not really tough enemies on their own. But the deal with them is, is they're capable of using a spell called Diamondize. They can diamondize your characters, which means they it's basically like knocking them unconscious, but it's difficult to restore them. You can't use a couple life noodles or one of your healing spells. It's just a real pain in the butt. And it'll... It'll just... Mess you up and you have to head all the way back down to the doctor. Or that blue-haired guy who pretended to be a doctor. Okay. This time, we're gonna have to take a different exit. Remember this one? Return hole. 
That's not what we're going for. We're going for the goodbye exit. That's up here. Like before, it'll drop us through a couple of holes. And we will land up here now. And that present we couldn't get before? Well, we can get it now. Really? You can't get it? that thing that makes you sleep, like, real quick. Oh, yeah! Here's our submarine, though. A yellow submarine. Must have been heavy. It's big enough for all three of them to ride in it. And what do you think about that? We went and we got Brick Road to follow us around. He finally got his dream of being turned into a dungeon. Weird dream, but whatever. He got it. He follows us around, helps us out, then we get him stuck in some trees. Then we go inside of him, take his prized submarine, and just leave him there. Stuck there forever and ever. Doesn't that make you feel just a little bit bad? Another thing, why are we using a submarine instead of a boat? Couldn't we take a boat from that guy that got us to Scarab before? I mean, couldn't he have just gone a little further around the coast and then dropped us off here? 